Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me today for some yoga. Last week, we had gone over two uh, breath work techniques on grounding. So today, let's take those techniques and then incorporate some movement too, or some asana. So let's focus on connecting our breath with our movement. Also, uh, I had mentioned that throughout the week, I tend to feel really busy. And I'm running around and then I've got all these thoughts just bubbling up through the mind. And so for me, being present helps me to feel grounded. So through the breath work, through the movement, I feel more present, more focused, and more grounded. So let's get started with some breath work. We're going to come into a standing position. I have a yoga block handy just in case. Feet or shoulder width apart. Roll the shoulders back. Palms of the hands are facing forward. Let's find length through the spine, dropping the chin slightly, coming into Tadasana pose or mountain pose. Shifting the weight into your heels, lifting your toes off the ground, and then putting all five toes squarely on the ground. Now shifting the weight into the toes and lifting the heels off the ground and dropping your heels onto the ground so that your foot is nicely grounded. Rolling the shoulders back, opening the hands, inhaling through the nose, exhaling, we'll bend up the waist, and then just try to squeeze out every last breath. Inhale, and exhale. Inhaling, this time if you'd like to bring your hands up and back slightly as you come down, feel free to do so to help open the chest. Exhale. Coming to the front of the mat. Let's start our movement. Coming into Tadasana pose. Feet are squarely on the ground. Let's inhale. And exhale, dropping the hands. If you need or would like a block, we'll put the block in front of you. Looking up. And coming down. We're going to work our hands onto the ground. If you have a block, let's move the block to the side. We'll bend the knees, bring the hands to the floor. And let's step out each leg, coming into Chaturanga Dandasana, or plank pose. So here, making sure that your shoulders are tightly rotated in, your arms against your waist or your chest, and exhaling. Down, tops of the feet come onto the ground, inhaling, pulling back slightly with your hands, coming up into a slight cobra pose. Inhaling here, and exhaling, pushing your body back into downward facing dog. So perhaps your pinkies are touching the edge of your yoga mat, feet are about shoulder width apart, Pushing your hips up and back, checking in with your hands to make sure your fingers are squarely grounded on the floor, your toes as well. Checking in with your shoulders to see if you can work on rotating them in. Pretend your hands are on top of a jelly jar and you're isometrically moving your hands, turning the jar, and perhaps rotating your shoulders slightly. Breathe here for two more breaths. And on the exhale, we'll drop the knees and come into child's pose. So perhaps you keep your hands out front, or perhaps your hands come out to the side. But most importantly, let's bring the crown of the head to the floor. Within each inhale, Imagine illuminating your body with each exhale, releasing any tension. Let's 
inhale here bringing your hands to either side of your feet coming up into tabletop position hands are under the shoulders knees are shoulder width apart checking in with your shoulders so we're not dropping really push into the ground there keeping your shoulders stable inhaling dropping the belly arching the back lifting the head Exhaling, moving in the opposite direction, dropping the head, lifting your spine towards the ceiling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And two more, moving at your pace. Push back into downward, excuse me, into child's pose, coming down. Inhaling, bringing your hands to either side of your face, exhaling, coming onto your knees. Inhaling and exhaling, right leg comes forward. Let's curl back toe under and however it is to help you come up, perhaps a block, perhaps a hand on the ground, let's push up into a lunge position or Vira Vendrasana, Warrior One. So my feet our shoulder width apart, the hip is facing towards the front of the mat. My back foot is rooted to the ground, but at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to inhale here and exhale. Lifting my hands, dropping my knee, knee staying over the ankle. Checking in with your shoulders, seeing if you can drop your shoulders slightly. Let's inhale here and exhale, opening to the side, rotating the hips, now facing the side of the mat. Now I'll kick my heel back slightly, so now my heels are in alignment as if I'm on a tightrope. I'm going to inhale and dropping my shoulders or my arms out to the side, seeing if I can drop my shoulders slightly, imagining there's a line from each finger being pulled towards the wall, and on the inhale, We'll extend on the exhale, we'll push over that front leg. Feel free to inch your toes out slightly if need be. Checking in with your arms and your shoulders, trying to drop them, looking over your front fingers. Let's inhale here and exhale. Now let's take another breath and we'll get ready. Triangle pose. For this expression, let's inhale, exhale, extending through the front and perhaps bringing your forearm to your knee and extending your back arm. For this, this is one expression. Perhaps you have a block and your hand comes down on the block. This is the second expression. Or perhaps there's no block and your hand is on the side of your foot and you're able to open. That's our third expression. So whichever expression feels good for you, let's breathe there for one more count. Let's inhale, and on the exhale, let's come forward, jumping. Now let's move to the other side. So we're gonna come back into warrior one, Vira Mendrasana one. So again, this time, my hips are facing towards the back of my yoga mat. My feet are parallel, almost, almost as wide as my mat. My back foot's about a 45 degree angle, but it's completely grounded. Let's inhale, arms up, and exhale. Bending into the knee, bringing the knee directly over the ankle into warrior one. Checking in with your shoulders to see if you can drop your shoulders slightly. 
Now let's inhale here. And on the exhale, we'll open our shoulders, rotating our hips, kicking the back leg slightly so that's it now in alignment with your front foot. Imagining the strings extending from both fingertips, dropping the shoulders. Let's inhale here and exhale, looking over that right, or excuse me, looking over that, those fingertips and really sinking into that front knee, perhaps kicking your toes out a little further so you can come a little deeper. Let's take one more breath here. Preparing for triangle pose. Remember we have clean expressions. So grab your block if you need it. And we'll start with our inhale. And then exhaling, bringing our forearm to the knee, the back arm up towards the sky. Or perhaps your hands on the block, or perhaps your hands next to your foot and your back arm is extended to the sky. Whichever expression feels best for your body. Let's breathe here for a minute or two. On this inhale, we'll extend. And on our exhale, let's come up, jumping towards the center, rolling our shoulders back, bringing our feet shoulder width apart, finding ourselves back in Tadasana. Let's inhale here. And on the exhale, hinging at the waist, bringing your hands towards the floor. Perhaps you have a block. Perhaps you can bring your fingers to the ground, whichever feels best for you. Let's focus on bringing our energy down. On my inhale, I'm going to tiptoe my feet out slightly, inhale here, and on the exhale, drop into Malasana, or basically a little squat. Let's inhale here for just a moment. And then we'll come down into the seated position. Let's prepare for Shavasana and we'll do our final breath. So for Shavasana, let's swing our legs around, finding a comfortable position and just really trying to be aware of the contact with the ground. My hands are facing up towards the sky. My feet are slightly wider than my shoulders. Checking in with my shoulders to try to bring them down slightly. Feel free to kick any movements necessary to get extremely comfortable. Perhaps you touch your toes together and let your toes trail out. Perhaps you'd like to take a happy baby, lift your feet, and rock back and forth. Whatever it is you would like to do now, absolutely perfect. Now as you're lying here, just be aware of your body and all the points of contact with the ground. And on your inhale, imagine illuminating your body so we feel laid back and feeling light. And on each exhale, just imagine letting any tension in your body sink or melt into the ground. Our baby feels laid back and relaxed.
just gonna move them into our body by wiggling our fingers, wiggling our toes. And when you're ready, let's roll over onto the right side. Bring your left palm in front of you. And feel free to move at your own pace. When you're ready, when you exhale, you can use your left hand to help guide you into a comfortable seated position. Let's roll the shoulders back. Let's inhale, bring the shoulders up. And exhale with a sigh. One more time. Now I had mentioned our square breathing. So on the inhale, we'll inhale for a count of three or four. We'll hold it for a count of three or four. Exhale, count of three or four. And then hold for a count of three or four. So feel free to do a couple of breaths of square breathing or just at your own pace. If you'd like, you can soften your gaze and close your eyes. Let's inhale through the nose. Let's resume normal breathing. We'll inhale, sweeping the hands up over the head. Exhale, hands come in front of heart. May you move throughout the week, feeling more present, focused, and grounded.